If you want just a quick summary of what you're going to get with Texas Chainsaw Massacre The Next Generation, look no further than this. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation stars Matthew McConaughey, Renee Zellweger, and is directed by Kim Hinkle. What's up guys, this is it. This is the final Texas Chainsaw Massacre review. Feels like it's been forever since I started the first one. Um, and if you look behind me, there's my brand new background. Uh, I got some new shelves and just really kind of wanted to uh, show off all my, my toys really, you know, right behind me. So that's what I did. And plus, I like to change things up a bit, so let me know in the comments what you think of it. But when I posted on Killer Flicks that I was going to be reviewing uh, Next Generation and that I'd never seen it, um, I think almost unanimously everybody was like, good luck, because this is not a well-received movie. As a matter of fact, on IMDb, it's 3.1 out of 10. That is really low. You want to know how bad this movie is? Renee Zellweger, Matthew McConaughey, this was before their careers really took off. After their careers took off, they tried to release this movie and capitalize on their fame. And they said, oh no, oh no, please, please don't. And they, they submitted a lawsuit. They said, if you use our names to sell this movie, then we're going to sue the hell out of you. And that's usually a bad sign if your stars are trying everything to keep their names out of the publicity of said movie. But let's get into the story of The Next Generation. Uh, this takes place uh, on a prom night, and you have Renee Zellweger and her friends there. They're leaving the prom, and they get into this car accident, and then they get diverted uh, down to the Sawyer clan, as we've seen so many times before. And right away, you realize these are not good people at all. Matthew McConaughey rolls up, and he snaps the dude's neck. Does not give two shits about him. <laughs> He's dead now. So I guess that's a good thing. They set up the tone of the movie. Now, yes, this is a horrible, horrible movie, but if I had to find anything good about it, you do have two major stars in it. Um, they are capable actors. Not as experienced, of course, and you can see that they're kind of over-trying in some of the scenes, especially McConaughey, but they are the two really only capable actors of the whole movie. That is one of the biggest problems of the movie is the acting. You would swear that there were extras walking onto the set of this movie and they needed actors for the day. So they said, hey, let's go ahead and put you in the scene. I'm not saying that's what happened, but you would swear that did happen because the acting is so bad in this movie. So bad that it's almost fun. She just does that to make trouble. Okay, it's obvious. It is so... <laughs> what are you talking it's about? obvious. Don't even listen to her words she says. She's just trying to make trouble. All that, all that, all that, all that, all that, it, it's just. Also the script. Again, you would swear that the script for this movie was written uh, day by day. It doesn't feel like a finished script at all because some of the dialogue is just really cringeworthy. I think they were really trying to copy the first movie because there are quite a few familiar beats that the first movie has. I mean, you even have the famous dinner scene uh, that takes up probably the last third of the movie. But they turn everything up to 11. There is nothing to fear but fear itself. And it just doesn't work. The first Texas Chainsaw Massacre, one, was the first of its kind. Two, was directed capably and very well by Toby Hooper. This movie is just all over the place. It's not cohesive at all. The first movie, very cohesive. And there's this constant build in the first movie. This one, there are moments where it's just batshit crazy and then there are moments where nothing's going on. This is where film editing comes into play. And this movie is not edited capably at all. So when you have scenes where Matthew McConaughey is just going off the rails, it just comes out of left field. But as far as any kind of entertainment value in this movie, just watching Matthew McConaughey, just cut a bunch of clips of Matthew McConaughey in this movie and you'll probably have a good time. Also, this might be the worst representation of Leatherface that I have ever seen. 
Remember in part three when I was talking about how Leatherface was really nothing to write home about? In this one, you just want to forget about him completely. He is horrible. They have sort of a transvestite Leatherface near the end of the movie, which kind of makes no sense. And also the very last scene of the movie, there's a hospital scene. You'll see three members from the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You'll see Franklin, Sally, and the Hitchhiker. And I'm sure they regretted that decision. As a matter of fact, if you uh, look at the end credits, when it uh, shows the girl on the gurney, it says anonymous. And that was actually Marilyn Burns. So I'm thinking Marilyn Burns didn't want to have anything to do with this movie after. Look guys, this is pretty much the forgotten Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. It, and for good reason, it's just that horrible. Because of Matthew McConaughey and some entertaining moments with his character, I'm gonna give it a two hours loss. It came damn close to getting a looped in hell. And really this would be the, the greatest movie to play if you were in hell and you had to have a movie over and over. So I guess you could technically say it could be looped in hell. But again, Matthew McConaughey was entertaining. So I'm gonna give it a two hours lost. So anyway guys, that's it. We have finished the Texas Chainsaw Massacre reviews. I can't believe this. Also make sure you jump on over to Killer Flicks, become a member. Also if you look down below, you can see all my social media links. If you wanna support Drum Dumbs, check that Patreon link where you'll get exclusives, bonus vids, and whatnot. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day and drum dumb out.